Hey guys, it's Villaman here, home theater enthusiast and lover of all things tech. And question, do you remember DLP TVs? Now, these are TVs that basically ruled the early to mid 2000s. And if you wanted an HD large format TV, then you'd probably be buying a DLP TV. But that's obviously not the case today. So what has changed? Why did it change? And how does it relate to projectors today, specifically ultra short through laser projectors? Well, that's what we're talking about in this video. Stick around. So before LCD TVs took over the HD TV scene, if you wanted a larger TV for your space, then a rear projection DLP TV would be probably one of your only choices. They were compact TVs, especially for the time that had large screens with great motion. They were cheaper handling, than the newer LCD and plasma alternatives, but they were much heavier and gave off a lot of heat from the lamp inside of it. The lamps were expensive and had to be replaced every couple thousand hours or so. On top of that, the viewing angles, because it was a rear projection set, weren't all that great. So there was a lot of room for improvement. And when LCD TV started getting cheaper and larger, then that's what did the DLP TVs in because then only a DLP TV just didn't make sense. It was more expensive to maintain and it just didn't perform quite as well as an LCD TV would. And over the years, LCD TVs have gotten even better. They went from edge lighting to full array local dimming with LED backlights and they've gotten larger with better picture performance, better viewing angles and contrast. And now that LCD TVs have a mini LED backlight, they have gotten even better picture performance by the full array local dimming zones being increased significantly to having better color performance and they've also gotten larger. And this is where ultra short to laser projectors enter the story because they have been getting increasingly popular over the past few years. Now they offer a great way of getting a large cinematic experience because all you need is the ultra short to laser projector, which is typically uh, say one foot by two foot box that you place under the display area, whether it be a retractable screen, a fixed frame screen that you hang on your wall or your wall itself. And the type of screens that you use or don't use dictates the kind of picture performance that you get in the end. So you have screens that are able to reject the ambient light coming into your room. So if you have sunlight coming into your room, the screen will reject some of that so you can still see the picture on your screen versus it being completely blown out from the light coming in through your windows. As would happen with a bare wall, for example, because the sunlight would likely overpower the light output from your projector. Although now we have ever brighter projectors that do wonders in a bright room, however, they still in fact suffer from a loss of contrast and color when you introduce a lot of ambient light into your room. So it's basically still important to have light control when you have an ultra short to laser projector, if only a little. So that's one of the main cons of having an ultra short to laser projector. Another issue I found, especially as someone who has reviewed a bunch of these ultra short to laser projectors, is that depending on the throw distance of the projector, it would have to be a great deal away from your screen or wall. And also, depending on how large of an image you'd like, then the screen will have to be higher up on your wall. So depending on how big the final projected image is that you want, you may be craning a bit upwards to see the entire screen. And that's not a very comfortable viewing experience at all, but that will depend on the kind of ultra short or laser projector you have. And each manufacturer and each model, in fact, may have a different throw distance. Then there's a complication in cost because the brighter of a projector you need, then the more expensive it's going to be. So although these issues may have different significance to you, we can see where they could become barriers of entry to some others. And that's where these extra large format mini LED TVs may come in to remove those barriers. So TCL was one of the first manufacturers to release these extra large format mini LED TVs and as they have done that, then more manufacturers have joined the fray because they've realized it's such a great opportunity. And given the technology, that's just the next evolution of LCD TV. 
Now, the HDR picture performance of a TV has been and will always be better than a projector because it just has that much more light output for those specular highlights and just that pop in the color and contrast performance. An ultra short to laser projector will never have a completely black screen, even when it's meant to be, unless it's completely off, of course, because it has a raised black level. So you'll always see more of a dark gray than a completely black screen. And with local Demi technology, TVs can do this with no problem. And there are some TVs that have some insane amount of local dimming zones, 40,000, for example, for the 110 inch Hisense UX that will be coming out later on in 2024. So contrast and color performance would just be the fall winds for a mini LED TV when compared to a USD projector. But where a projector has the advantage, and I think always will, is in the size. So right now you can get ultra short laser projectors that can support up to a 150 inch screen. And as the size of the screen increases, then the more of the light has to be used to illuminate that space. So the overall picture brightness will be lower than if it was a smaller screen. But at the end of the day, if you want a larger screen, then that's something that you'll likely be okay with. Conversely, the largest mini LED TV that will be released is a 115 inch QM891 from TCL with 20,000 local dimming zones and up to 5,000 nits of brightness. So it gets insanely bright and has a lot of local dimming zones to help with the contrast performance. So you can see where that disparity exists. If you're someone who has the space for a 150 inch screen, that a TV may not be the best choice for you. But if you say want something 120 inches or less, then I think a mini LED TV may actually be the best bet, especially for someone who wants to put it in a common area like a living room or family room that gets a lot of ambient light and want to use that display without having to make the room dark, whether it be daytime or whatever. Another huge factor, of course, is the price. You can get a laser projector all the way from under $2,000 to a lot more. And that's been a huge development in the mini LED TV space as well, because as of making this video in January 2024, there have been 100 inch TVs, both from TCL and Hisense that are at $2,000, which is bonkers when you think about it. There will always be those who prefer the look and motion of a projected image to that of a TV, but at $2,000 for a 100 inch TV, that's a huge value proposition. But a TV 100 inches or more presents its own challenges, logistics chief among them, whether it be from shipping to how you navigate it inside your home to installation. That's going to be something that you have to think about and map out before you even think about getting a TV as big as that. Whereas an ultra short laser projector, you could adjust it, uh, the screen size of the projected image based on your personal preference and the size of your display area. But I think once again, we're at an inflection point. I mentioned this last year with OLED TVs and their increasing brightness, but as far as projectors versus TVs go, I think we're at an inflection point where we're gonna see more large format mini LED TVs that have great picture performance and are low cost because they're just uh, cheaper to make these days. So I think if you're in the market for a USD projector, especially one under 120 inches or any large format screen for that matter, then you're gonna have to think long and hard about what's really important to you. That be, I won't say bright room performance, I'll say light agnostic picture performance. So whether it's a bright or dark room or how good of an HDR image is presented, HDR brightness, uh, contrast performance, and motion. All areas are extremely important for a display, of course, but I think those are all areas that a large TV would beat uh, ultra short laser projector in. And of course, there's a noise factor of some projectors, whereas the brightness output increases, then so do the fans and the noise that it generates. So a TV wouldn't necessarily have that issue. So to bring this all together, what am I trying to say, especially with my little story about the DLP projectors at the beginning? Well, I'm saying that given the advancements in 
LCD TVs, mini LED TVs to be specific. I think other large format displays like ultra short laser projectors, which has served the niche of people who have living spaces, traditional living spaces, who want a large format screen, I think we'll see an increasingly large segment of their potential customer base going towards large LCD TVs because those serve the purpose that a USD projector would serve, but has fewer of the caveats and pitfalls and fewer considerations and changes that need to be made to your space. This, of course, is my opinion and my insight. So I would love to know what you would think. What would you do or what would you buy if you're in the market for a large format display and why? So which do you prefer? and why? Let me know in the comments. TV season's about to get on the way for 2024 and I have a new space, a new office, a new studio. So I will have my own dedicated area for my comparisons, unboxings, all of those and my reviews of course. So definitely stick around. I couldn't make as many videos as I'd like last year because I was in the middle of move and the upheaval that that caused. But here we are we're all settled. We're still doing some, you know, fixes and what have you, just making the place our own. But this is my space. I can make as much noise as I want. Well, maybe not. <laughs> but I have this space to turn into whatever I want. And I have a lot of plans. So I'm going to be making a build out video, of course, to show you exactly what I plan to do to the space to make it a multifunctional area. So a studio slash office slash entertainment area. We'll see. So definitely subscribe if you haven't yet and make sure to like this video so you can see more of my videos. Thanks for watching. And until next time, this has been your friendly neighborhood villain man saying be safe and peace.